All right. Who wants to do a show? <laughs> now that looked like we meant it, didn't it? That looked like Brett, well done. Everybody, Brett Crow. Good heavens! It would have been a very, it would have been a very dull pre-show without you. So I'm so glad you're here. You too. Uh, heard you did a bunch of shows over the weekend. Yes, that's that's awesome. Great. Go, Brett. Awesome. Brett was everywhere. Brett was everywhere. <laughs> like a cult, Brett was everywhere, and so were you. I was I was traveling myself actually over the weekend. I went out to the middle of nowhere to to do a gig, and I did it, and it went well. But the the fun thing, the fun the fun incident, as these stories often start, happened on the way there and then after the gig. On the way there, and I, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Texas, and I see the sign that says, Dulcimer Festival. I'm thinking, gig, lunch, I gotta go check that out. I'm in the middle of nowhere, who, who decides and I, you know, that this is a thing that needs to happen, and who decides that it needs to happen there? And the answer I came up with is probably someone lives in the area that has a Dulcimer, and said, why don't we have a festival? Because the rent's cheap, I guess, I don't know. So I, I, I go and I have lunch and I get to the thing. And you gotta, you gotta understand, I have a, like a weird cultish fascination with folk instruments and weird instruments. So this is, I'm just happy. Weather's nice. It's in an old historic building that's a museum. And I come walking over this long grassy hill and there's people just out there, just like sitting in circles playing music and it's wafting over me and it's awesome. I was like, oh, this is, the, this is great. I mean, gig was good, but now I'm actually outside and seeing people and it's fun. And I come, I come walking up and I look over and I, I have a specific obsession with the accordion. Some, some know. I'm, I'm learning the accordion. I can't play it yet. I'm trying to learn. And I see there is someone, a little old lady, playing the accordion. And uh, I look over and I look and I squint. And I, I specifically am learning like a weird little Russian accordion. And uh, I look over and I squint and I say, is that a bayon? And she goes, yes, do you know how to play? And I said, not really. And by the time I said not really, she's got the thing unstrapped from her back and she's strapping it onto my body and saying, show me. <laughs> so now I am surrounded by a bunch of people. I have a very large antique instrument strapped to my chest that I don't really know how to play. And this isn't stressful at all. And I have like flashbacks to every bit of stage fright and anxiety I've ever had. And somebody says, you don't have to be good, you just have to have fun. And that was all I needed to hear, honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Great fun. So I, I did, and, and it was amazing because everybody kind of starts getting into it. Um, Marie was with me, Marie had her, her melodica, and she's a much better musician than I am, and so she's playing along with my off-key honking, and so thank you for that. It, it turned into a thing, and it was, it was fun. And I ended up connecting with this, this woman, who it turns out, and this gets weirder, lives in Dallas and got her accordion from the same guy. That's a weird little, that's a, we thought we were a weird cult, right? <laughs> so I, I end up talking to her and I end up connecting. We have so much to talk about. Now, to be fair, I realize that I'm the sort of guy that if it wasn't for the fact that I have an interesting job, all I would do is talk about work. And if I was an accountant, you people would hate me. <laughs> so I'm lucky that I had this thing to be passionate about that I could share with someone because otherwise it would have been a lot of awkward looking at the floor and, and wishing I was, I don't know, at home playing the accordion, I suppose. <laughs> But in the, in the end, I had this just lovely moment where I got to connect with someone who I'm sure behind the, if they, she met the man behind the accordion, we probably would not have had much in common. Uh, because I'm guessing in a small town and all that kind of thinking and, you know, just different generations. But in the end, we had a lot to talk about and ended up finding a lot of common ground. It was a really good reminder about what I love about this place. I, and I love live, we all love yay live theater. We all love crazy performance. We love all of these things. But I forget sometimes that I get to have friends with common interests and otherwise I would just be that guy who's sitting at home and or I'd be worse, I'd be that guy at the party who has nothing interesting to say because no one has any common ground with him. Thank you so much for that and welcome to the open stage. <laughs>